Hey everyone, this is My SharePoint Questions and I am Andrew Hess. Today I just want to take a little bit of a break from Power Apps. I've been going really uh, hard on Power Apps for probably about a year now. I want to take a little break and kind of branch off and just talk about SharePoint a little bit and show you how you can create a, your own custom theme for your SharePoint site collections. Uh, so right here in settings and uh, settings, you can change the look. And in your theme, you can create your own custom company themes. Although you do need a different admin account, but we can uh, easily push out different custom company themes to our site, which can be great for branding your sites. So before we get into it, I just want to say thank you everyone who has been supporting me and even the people who are not talking in my, uh, in my videos and are just watching. I appreciate everyone who's been watching and commenting and sharing my videos. Thank you guys so much. I, I couldn't have reached a thousand subscribers without you. I, I'm almost there and so it really is a great incentive to keep moving forward and, and, and thank everyone for watching. So hopefully this is a channel that keeps on going and growing and we can all learn together and maybe uh, some people can teach me a few things too. So thank you everyone who has been watching, subscribing and sharing my videos. So this is just a random SharePoint site I have and I wanted to show how you could customize and create your own theme. So if you go to change the look and you go to theme, I have a bunch of different custom themes in here. And so I just wanted to show how you can create a custom theme on your SharePoint site collection. So first off, Microsoft did add recently in the navigation a horizontal navigation. It's pretty new. I, I think when they added this uh, navigation on the left side they added the top navigation and, and you have a mega menu and cascading so if you wanted to do that you can also do that so there is a site out there that Microsoft has released and it is the fluent UI theme designer I'll put that URL in the description of the video now you can come in here and design your own theme before you release it to SharePoint so I can select the colors I can change the background color and it's going to warn you, you know, if some accessibility issues. So let me just see if I can uh, create something here that has no accessibility issues. All right. So I created, uh, you know, some custom colors over here. It does have the colors listed out. Now what you do is you come to export theme and there's three different options. You know, of course you can do code or JSON, but w the way that I do it is I do PowerShell just because it's really simple for me. So I'm just going to take that and so I'm going to put it in notepad. I just copied that theme and put it right in the notepad. So now that we have notepad, let me make it a little bigger for you. What I'm going to do is in PowerShell, I'm going to create a variable. So in order to create this variable, I'm going to do a money sign TP equal. So pretty much I'm just setting a variable in PowerShell. I'm just saying the variable right here is equal to these colors that we got from PowerShell in our website. So let's take a look at the PowerShell com command we're gonna use. So the PowerShell command we're going to use is add SPO theme. And you can see that you know, there's a few things in here. Identity is inverted and palette. So palette is what we're going to do with the colors, right? So you can see here's an example and they're doing it theme palette. And you can see in the example, they do add SPO theme identity. So that's the name of your custom color. And then they say palette. And then they call it their, their um, variable theme palette. And they're going to say is inverted false. So we're going to do the same thing. So let's go ahead and just, I'm just going to take that command and put it here, except for um, I'll call it whatever I'd like. I called it my SharePoint questions. And the palette, we're going to change this to TP. All right. So now let's go to PowerShell. So this is not just normal PowerShell. This is SharePoint Online Management Shell. So if I look for it, SharePoint Online Management Shell. And what I'd normally do, just out of habit, is I right click and click Run as Administrator. Okay. So I am in SharePoint Online Management Shell. So now. what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to my admin center of my tenant. So that uh, call is connect SPO service and then URL and you're going to put in the admin center site uh, 
of your tenant. I'll, I'll give you an example. So here's an example uh, right here. Your tenant name is going to go right here. So whatever your tenant name is, if it's my SharePoint questions, dash admin dot SharePoint dot com. You're going to paste that in and connect to that site. And it's going to prompt you for credentials. So you need to have um, admin credentials in order to do this to your tenant. So just sign in with your credentials. So now that we've signed in to our admin credentials, what we're going to do is we're going to set this variable in in uh, the management shell. I'm just going to copy and paste it right in. So now that variable is set. Now my next uh, line right here is add SPO th uh, theme. I'm just going to copy that and put that right in too. So now we've just added that to our tenant and let's go check out SharePoint. So now in SharePoint, if we give a little refresh and we go to our gear icon, all right, so we're going to go to settings, change the look, theme, and you can see my new one right here, my SharePoint questions. We'll just highlight that, save. We now have a new theme to our SharePoint site. So if you want to give a, a good bit of customization, if you want to, you know, give your users the ability to use different themes in their SharePoint site collections, you can just add a theme like that pretty simply. It's really neat. You do have this fluent UI theme designer that helps you design different colors and pick different colors. So say you wanted a, you know, maybe a, a white text with a, a dark background. It's totally possible. So we could even, uh, you know, put in a nice little dark background. So finally, if you wanted to remove or you made a mistake, you could just do remove SPO theme. And I believe if you just did the identity, my SharePoint questions, you can then remove that uh, site theme from your tenant. So it's pretty easy if you made a mistake. And we go back up here to change the look. Obviously, since it's already set, it, it is there. You can come back up here, change the look, theme, my SharePoint questions is has been removed. So you can uh, also remove that. It's no big deal. Um, looks pretty neat. Uh, it's wonderful for branding. I am trying to branch out a little bit from Power Apps to have a lot of knowledge, you know, in, in SharePoint SQL, uh, Power BI, Power Automate, and Power Apps. For this week, I just want to take a little break from Power Apps, and I will be back at it next week. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, everyone, who's been my supporter so far. I appreciate it so much. I couldn't do it without you guys. Thanks.